So in this video, we'll try to understand how to find out the beam reactions in case of simply supported beam carrying UDL as well as UVL that is uniformly distributed load and uniformly varying load. So here we have shown the arrangement in which we are having the uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter acting at a distance of 2 meter from the left hand support. For the next 2 meter load, there is a uniformly varying load starting from 0 at this end to 6 kN per meter at the other end and then the 5 kN point load acting at a distance of 2 meter from the right hand support. Now first we will convert this uniformly distributed load and uniformly varying load into point loads and then we will apply the conditions of equilibrium. So the uniformly distributed load is of the magnitude of 2 kN per meter. It means that for 1 meter length the load that is acting is 2 kN. So 2 into 2 that is 4 meter that is the total UDL load and it is acting at the center of this particular distribution that is 2 meter length the center is at 1 meter. So 2 into 2 because for 1 meter the load is 2 kN then for 2 meter it will be 4 kN and allow it to act at the center of this particular 2 meter length on which this UDL is acting. Then this is a triangular distribution. It uniformly varies from 0 to this particular maximum of 6 kN per meter. And therefore here we will consider the load as equivalent to 1 half base into height that is the area of this triangular distribution. So base is 2 meter and height is 6 meter at this end. So total point load or uniformly varying load is 6 kN and it will be acting at it will be acting through the CG of this particular triangular distribution and we know that the CG is acting at a distance of 2B by 3 where B is 2 so this distance will be 1.333 meter. So in this way first we have converted this UDL as well as this UVL into point load and now it will become easy for us to find out the beam reaction. So first condition of equilibrium is that summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0 considering that the upward force is positive and downward forces are negative. So RA is acting in the upward direction, this reaction RB is also acting in the upward direction and these point loads, converted point loads, they are all acting in the downward direction. So RA plus RB minus 4, minus 6 and minus 5 is equal to 0 or you can say that RA plus RB is equal to 15 kN. Now we will apply the another condition that is summation of moment is equal to 0. Now we will take moment about point A and we will start from RB. So this now this RB will have anti-clockwise moment and it will have a distance of from B to A the distance is 7 so it is minus RB into 7. Then this 4 kN load will have clockwise moment about A so 4 into 1. Then this 6 kN it will also have clockwise moment but its distance will be from this point up to A. The total distance is 2 plus 1.33 that is 3.333 meter. This 5 kN will have again clockwise moment and its perpendicular distance will be from this end to this end will be 2 plus 2 plus 1 that is 5. So transfer this negative term on the other side it will become positive and you can find out the value of Rb which will be nearly around 7 kN. Substitute this value in equation 1 and you will get the value of Ra. Ra is 15 minus Rb that is nearly 8 kN. So in this way we can find out the beam reactions in case of simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load as well as uniformly varying load.